Jesus does not speak to entertain us, rather to draw you from that which brought about the predicament. He said, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Have you noticed that the message has changed now in the church? Brother, you are being taught how to double up Jesus. There is no double up to heaven. In the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, when Pontius Pilate was governor of Judea, Herod, Tetrarch of Galilee, his brother Philip, Tetrarch of Ituria and Trachonitis, and Lysanias, Tetrarch of Abilene, during the high priesthood of Annas and Caiaphas, the word of God came to John, son of Zechariah, in the wilderness. He went into all the country around the Jordan, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins, as it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet. A voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him, every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill made low. The crooked roads shall become straight the rough ways smooth, and all people will see God's salvation. Glory to God in the highest. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus is ever sufficient for you. Amen. Thank you. You may have your seat. Thank you, Jesus, for another beautiful day. It is beautiful because we are in his presence. His presence determines the beauty of our day. We bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Jesus does not speak to entertain us to make us feel good, to make us feel warm, the warmth of the voice. But Jesus speaks to bring us to repentance. Men of God, this is what I've been going through. This is my predicament. I was once in the prayer line. I, I was praying, I, I pray, I fast. Similarly, I cannot overcome my challenge. The interest of Jesus is not only in getting you well, but rather to draw you from that which brought about the predicament. Draw. You know what is a draw? To, to pull you. Mm, come on. What is that which brought about the predicament? It is nothing but the sin we commit. I would like to remind you that we are not here just for healing, deliverance, breakthrough, buy car, buy house, get married. But the primary reason of our coming together in this church, it is for the salvation of souls. That is why God's interest is not only in getting you healed, but God's interest is in revealing you that which brought about the predicament which is sin if sin is not eliminated from your life you will not see jesus blessed are for they for they shall see pure in heart means not grudging say that 
Blessed are they, the pure, for they shall see who? Without purity, it is impossible to see God. When you live here, where are you going? When you live here, on your last day, where are you going? Our greatest desire is to go to heaven. But as a Christian, it shouldn't be just a desire, but a reality. Reality means assurance. Assurance. When I live here, I know I'm going to meet Jesus. Not I pray to meet Jesus. I'm going to meet Jesus because I'm sure. Don't forget, faith is assurance. According to the book of Hebrews chapter 11, faith is being sure. Faith is assurance. See that? I must be sure. You must be sure that when you live here, you are going to see the Father. Failure to be sure simply means you are not saved because faith is never neutral. There is nothing like, I'm not sure. If you are not sure, you are not saved because faith is assurance. You get the message there. The man was saying, the voice that spoke in the Son of Man distinguished itself as the voice from above. By not only being interested in getting the man well, but in pointing out the root cause of the paralysis. Don't forget what they said about John the Baptist. John the Baptist said, he said, I am the voice. I am they. I am the voice to today. Said it. I'm the voice. Jesus here was the voice. That's why the message says, the voice that spoke in the Son of Man distinguished itself. There are many voices, my people. Say that. Uh, again what is it? let us take our bible to the book of luke luke chapter 3 are you are you there i will take it from verse 3 because of time he went into all the country around the jordan Preaching a baptism of repentance. Preaching what? Baptism of? Preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. For what? This is the call. Even Jesus when he started, he said, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. What did he say? Who was that? Jesus. Have you noticed that the message has changed now in the church? Rather, you are being taught how to double up Jesus. Oh. You know what is to double up? To double up is to maneuver your way. What did Jesus preach when he started his ministry? This man here, John the Baptist, he was preaching what? He was preaching a, a repentance for all. Is that what you have been told today? You are taught how to double up Jesus to get what you want. Are you there? He went into all the country around the Jordan preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of for the forgiveness of Jesus died for the forgiveness of Jesus died for the forgiveness of Sin. what did he preach? Yes. John the Baptist preached what? Yes. A baptism of yes. that it as is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet a 
voice of one calling in the desert. Come on. A word. Prepare the way for I cannot hear Make straight paths for him Make what? Is it double up your path? Is it maneuver? What does he say? Make straight Make straight Not double up there is no double up to heaven. Every valley shall be filled in. Oh God. This is, this is your life. You are down low because of sin. Your life is a valley because of sin. The Bible says every valley shall be filled in through repentance. It shall be filled in. It shall be made straight. It shall be every mountain and hill made low. My sins were higher than the mountain when the Lord sent you. My sins, my sins were higher than. Mountain when the Lord sanctifies. This is the hill and the mountain of sin. The Bible says, shall be made low. And my sins were lower than the vow. When the Lord Sanctify my sins, my sins were lower than when the Lord sanctify the valley shall be filled in forgiveness of sins and mountains and hills shall be made when I'm forgiven that mountain of sin shall be shall be leveled every valley shall be filled in every mountain and hill made the crooked roads shall become straight come on the what no more double up being. say no more double up if the road was like this it means crooked it means you were not straight you were living in your own ways you were living is but the bible says crooked ways shall be made what Six. the rough ways shall be smooth and all mankind will see god's salvation and all what Sha nothing like I came to the church 2013 with this lady as my girlfriend. This now is 2023. I'm the father of her kids with three beautiful boys. You are just the father of the children. You are not the husband. No. The crooked ways of boyfriend and girlfriend shall be made straight when you guys get married. Not what I do. I'm, 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 at least I'm faithful. I'm faithful to him. I'm faithful to her. I stick to one partner. But the partner is your boyfriend, your girlfriend. I've got three beautiful boys with the mother of my kids. When he met the woman who was caught in the act of adultery, and the accusers were there the first thing he did madam listen to me are you, are you listening the first thing he did he chased away the critics because only god can judge but he said to the woman go and sin no more when he met the men 
at the pool of Bethesda in the church he now said to him say you are well again go and sin no more otherwise the voice that spoke distinguished itself as the voice of God by saying go and sin no more when he met the woman after the critics left he said I'm not here to judge you the judge is up there but go and that is the gospel when you meet the true gospel the true gospel will say to you you see your sins are forgiven you see you've been healed you see you've been delivered you see you are blessed you see you got married go and sin that is why I say to you, the issue of which you come here with your girlfriend, after 10 years, you people have been in the church, you now have three kids, you are not talking about marriage, you are not serious. Here I preach marriage. The crooked ways must be made what? Mountains shall be, should be? And valleys should be? Filled in. Then you know we are going somewhere when sin becomes a taboo you feel bad after doing wrong then you know you are a candidate of heaven you feel like vomiting you feel nauseous after doing sin you begin to hate yourself then you know you are a candidate not doing sinful act and then the next day you put the tie well tuck in the shirt pull the belt hallelujah no you feel bad you begin to hate yourself I still with him. I don't feel good Sam after they do wrong the next day they don't even have the fear of sitting in the front row though they know last night they crossed Jesus margin the true Christian will feel bad no 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 no, no. I cannot dare sit close to where the man of God is I'm dirty mm, I'm dirty I feel dirty I don't I don't feel wet. Then you know this is a candidate of heaven. That is what the police, even at court, when you have done something, you present yourself before them. There are many times they don't stick very much to the law. They will look at the way you conduct yourself before them. You are guilty if you put your hand in the pocket to begin to say, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. They will lock you the whole of your life. With the other person, they will say, okay, we are going to put you 15 years. We have cut 10. Because we realize that you, you are sorry for what you have done. Don't you think God takes it the same way? Same mistake. Same criminal offense. But the attitude will determine the penalty. I know what I've just said is what you did when you started the church. By the time you get used to the church, mm, mm, before, when you had done wrong, you would feel so bad. Now, <laughs> you are used to Jesus. Thank you. The grace of God is sufficient for you.